Elon Musk was born in South Africa, where he claims he grew up extremely poor. But his family owned an emerald mine. As a teenager, Elon would trade emeralds for cash in New York City. And his father bragged how they had so much money, we couldn't even close our safe. Musk claims to have had about $100,000 of student loan debt, but he received a full scholarship to the University of Pennsylvania, where he bought a 10-bedroom frat house with his friend Adeo Resi and ran an illegal nightclub. The pop culture claim is that Elon has an IQ of 155, but this has never been tested. And after being accepted into Stanford for PhD studies, he dropped out after two days. After dropping out, Elon began his first business venture with his brother Kimball, Zip2, which was essentially a digital version of the Yellow Pages. The brothers received tens of thousands of dollars from their parents, and yet Elon denies this. An associate of Elon's father, Greg Curry, got involved to bring in investors. But Elon's code was no good, so they had to hire on professional coders to rewrite everything. Zip2 was then sold for $307 million to Compaq, who later shut it down without ever earning a profit. Elon made $22 million, bought a $1 million McLaren F1 supercar, which made mainstream news, before he totaled the uninsured vehicle. Musk then went on to create an online bank, X.com. He partnered with banking expert Harris Fricker, Edward Ho, and Christopher Payne. All three ended up leaving the company after accusing Elon of lying to the media about the quality of their product. Elon claims he founded PayPal. Before the company was named PayPal, it was known as Confinity. It was founded in 1998 by Peter Thiel and Max Levchin. After losing millions of dollars, Elon's X.com was bought by Confinity in a merger in 2000. All Musk contributed at Confinity was his own power struggle. He made himself CEO and pushed to change the name to X.com. The executive team successfully petitioned to fire Musk while he was away on vacation. Part of Musk's resignation agreement stipulated that all references to founders of the company will be removed from their website, allowing Elon to claim credit, which so far is all he has ever achieved. Peter Thiel then rebranded the company as PayPal, went public, and sold to eBay for $1.5 billion. Elon made $180 million from the deal, which he then invested into Tesla, SpaceX, and failed company SolarCity. Elon falsely claims to be the founder of Tesla. Tesla was founded in 2003 by Mark Tarpening and Martin Eberhard, who developed the Tesla Roadster. When Tesla Motors began looking for venture capital, they approached Elon Musk, who had the fake credibility as PayPal's co-founder. Musk joined with the condition that he be named chairman of the board. In emails, Musk was upset that the media was not giving him credit for Tesla Motors and went after Martin Eberhard, replacing him as CEO. He then forced Eberhard out of the company and rewrote the company's history to have himself listed as an original co-founder. Martin Eberhard, the man behind the Tesla Roadster, was promised the first Roadster off the assembly line. But Musk screwed him over on that as well and sent that car into space. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> so who is Elon Musk? Elon describes his father as being an evil, abusive man. His father, Errol Musk, has been accused of being a pedophile and fathered a child with his stepdaughter, who is 42 years younger than him. This spoiled, narcissistic failure, son of accused pedophile, wants to put computer chips in everyone's brain so that we can merge with artificial intelligence. His girlfriend is now bragging how this could all lead to a communist utopia. And strangely enough, former Nazi and head of NASA, Werner von Braun, predicted a man named Elon would conquer Mars in a 1952 novel that he wrote. Which is odd, because NASA has partnered with Elon SpaceX to work towards colonizing Mars. Elon Musk, like everything else in today's modern society, is a fraud a fake genius, just like fake philanthropist Bill Gates and his fake vaccines. Brought to you by the fake news. Here's a pro tip for dealing with the mainstream media and all of pop culture. Assume it's a lie and research everything. For Infowars.com, this is Greg Reese.